Well, it's about that time. It's about that time that you're feeling, okay, I've been married to this man or woman. And now I need to sponsor them, okay? So that they can comfortably live with me in Canada without the pressure of, oh, that's the policeman. I need to run. No, 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 no. You want to sponsor your spouse so they can go to the hospital if they're feeling unwell, okay? They don't always have to run away from the law. They can enjoy education, quality education in Canada. They can enjoy the ambience, the fresh air. And so how do you go about that? You have to be able to prove it. The government of Canada is saying, prove it to us. Is he or she really your spouse? Hello, everybody. Welcome back to Accord TV. And if you're checking in for the very first time, it's your mama Accord. And yes, 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 I am the immigration queen. <laughs> Please remember to like the video, subscribe the channel, and ring the bell so you don't miss out on any of our content. Now, my sons and daughters, in today's video, we are talking about marriage. You are going to sponsor your husband or your wife to finally live with you in Canada comfortably without thinking of always running away from the law. And how do you go about this? You're going to have to prove it because the government of Canada requires you to. And so, what do you need? Or how do you prove that you are indeed married to your spouse? You will need a completed relationship, information, and sponsorship evaluation questionnaire, IMM 5532, included in the application package. You will also need a marriage certificate, okay? And for you to have a marriage certificate, you do not necessarily have to have a huge wedding. You do not necessarily have to have gone to church to say, I do. You can go to the AG chambers, I don't know, depending on your country. Go and then apply and then they'll give you a few days to wait. If there's anyone who could just come and say, oh, she's my wife or oh, he's my husband. If nothing like that happens, you get married, you put your signatures down and then you are given your marriage certificate. So that's one of the documents you're required to show or rather to have for you to confirm that indeed you're married to this person. Besides having your marriage certificate, you're also required to have proof of registration of marriage with a government authority. You also need proof of divorce if one of you was previously married. So if you're previously married to someone else, then you need to have certificate of divorce or divorce certificate. I don't know how they call it. You need to have that together with the rest of your documents. If you have children, you also need to have their birth certificates. Okay? And you need to have a wedding invitations and photos. So that card you use to invite people, whether you had an actual card or e-invitation or whatever, you need to keep those because you're going to need it. You are going to need that invitation together with your document in order for you to prove that you are married to this person. And of course, naturally, when people are getting married, people take pictures. So you will not come out and say, oh, I'm sorry, you know, I did not take pictures. No, people always take pictures. And nowadays, life has become even easier. Mobile phones. Ah, smartphones, people use them to take pictures. So if you don't have any pictures, call your friend or whoever, your mother, your father, anyone you can call, tell them to share with you the pictures of your wedding because you are careless enough. You don't have any. Hmm? Hmm. If you are the sponsor, you are required to at least have two of these documents. I'm going to share several. So you need to have at least two from what I'm going to mention. You need to have proof of joint ownership of residential property. That is, if you have a house, okay, you own it together, then you need to have that document together with your other documents. Or you need to have a rental agreement, okay, with both your names featured on the document, okay? You also need to have that. <laughs> Proof of joint utility accounts. Uh -huh. If you are that man who never pays for electricity, huh? You have joint whatever and you, you never pay for water. You never pay for anything, okay? Now... This time, Canada is saying, huh, we need proof that you people pay your bills together, okay? So if you've not been doing that, if you've been absconding your duties, huh, waiting for the night for the sun to go down, to deliver on other things which sometimes people can actually live without, you better start paying your bills. If your wife is paying for electricity, you're paying for the rent. If she's paying for water, your vehicle insurance showing that both the principal applicant and sponsor have been declared to the insurance company as residents of the insured address. You need to have copies of the government's insured documents for the principal applicant showing the same address, for example, driver's license. Last but not least, other documents issued to the principal applicant, for example, bills 
tax forms, bank and credit card statements, and of course, insurance policy. Now, now that you are well aware how you can prove that you're actually married to this person, okay? You are now ready to sponsor your wife or husband. You have watched this video. Please do not be malicious because now you know exactly what to do. And if it's about time for you to get this done, please make sure it is done, okay? Make sure it is done now without waiting. Your wife is back home in your home country waiting for you to bring her to Canada. But you're buying time. Oh, baby, you know I don't have this. I don't have this. Your wife is going to watch this video. And then we'll see what you can do. We'll see what you're going to tell her because you do not have any other option. And then we normally do it here. And without forgetting, we're keeping it positive vibes only. And I'll see you all in the next one. Bye.